OK, so use rational exponents to write as a single radical. So what we're saying here is, is that we're going to do some little multiplications, we're going to combine these things, but we can't really combine a fifth root and a cube root, like in question 12, but we can if we change it to um, rational exponents. In other words, deal with fractions. So this here, right, let's change this. This is an x to the power 1, and it's being fifth rooted. Right? That's what that is. Right? This one, okay, it's an x squared, and it's being cube rooted. Okay? So there we go. I've just changed those radicals to be rational exponents. In other words, fractions. Okay? Now remember, when you multiply, you add. So what I'm really doing is I'm adding these two exponents. All right? Two thirds. So I can't do that. Common denominators. 15. The cap's off again. 15. Thomas. Here. Oi. Oi. Right. Multiply by 3, so I've changed that. Multiply by 3, I've multiplied by 5. Okay, so that's 10. Okay, just basic fractions. That is 13 fifteenths. Okay? So what I'm saying is, is if I multiply those two things uh, here, all right, I add the exponents, I get 13 fifteenths. In other words, it's x to the 13 fifteenths. But it says write it back as a radical. So remember what goes where, the 13 and the 15. So it's x raised to the 13th power, but it is being rooted 15, okay, 15th root. Okay, and that's the answer to those two. Okay, and that's pretty much it for all of these. Um, anything different, really, I can't say anything different. Um, you know, just change it to a fraction, you can add or subtract if you had to the fractions, then convert it back to a radical. Okay?